Hey now! Hey now, hey now, hey now! Let's get the word out. Also, let me adjust the microphone. Oh, that's better! Why can't I click on the right thing once? That's still not it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> My inability to click on the right thing strikes again. Hey, Alice, how's it going? We'll actually beat it today. I'm hoping so. <laughs> I think we will. I think I think we're we're we really are at the end, right? I believe we will. Yeah, I hope so, right? Not that you, you know. What's weird is it's it's not that I'm like uh really that eager to play Xenogears. It's just I'm. It's Sweden and Five is long, you know. And I got like all right enough already. You know, um, it's still better than three, though. Like, like three, I think wore out its welcome much sooner. Much, much, much sooner. Absolutely, yeah. That's always interesting to do that. And and and, and the Xeno series is going to be like a long one because, like, okay, Xeno Gears is not like amazingly long. I never really played through the entirety of Xeno Saga, but like, it's three games, PS2. Now we'll get through them, right? Oh, hey, Uber! Yo, what up? Thank you for subbing. And hey, Gray. You know, <laughs> hey, the Fantasy Star 2 run was, um, it was, it was a while ago, though. So remember, it was like, um, I was doing that and I had COVID. But anyway, um, ew. Uh, but then when you get to the Xenoblade games, like, they're, they're, they're all long. You know, and there's there's fucking four of them, and they're all really long games. But okay, so I've only played one Xenoblade, but I've played it a bunch of times. And for a game that, at its bare minimum, is eighty hours long, for me to be just like constantly wanting to play it more, you know, it's a really amazing game. So cool, so cool. Two and a half more years until EB's nicest sub at sixty nine. <laughs> I'm not even sure that EB's here because um, that that comes through when the payment goes through. I think EB might have passed out, but we we thank them anyway. You know, either either way, I hope they're here. But you know, what is this music? I'm playing like a relaxing JRPG playlist. This oh, it's Grandia. Okay, oh there you are. You're still kind of here. I'm still kind of playing Sweet in Five. I've never played Grandia. I should. Those, there's only two of them. I should play those one day as well. You know, so many RPGs to play. 
So, you know, for like series Saturday and Sunday, right? I want to differentiate them slightly. And then like East is an RPG, but it is like more on the action side. And we decided to make East the first series for series Sunday because we were sort of like also saying goodbye to Falcom Sundays. And I want it to be where like sort of like Saturday's the RPG day and, and, and Sunday's like a little bit more action oriented, which is why we'll be going to, to Devil May Cry in Castlevania, you know? Grania kicks ass. Yeah, it, it's one of those games that... Oh, there's three of them. There's a, I thought there were only two. There's a Grandia 3? Huh. Well, you know, like, it, it's one of those games that, like, I sort of have a little bit... Not a lot, but a little bit of a bad association with. Because it's just one of the few things that Tanya would not, like, shut the fuck up about. And I think it's because, like, she found out that I hadn't played a Grandia, so she's just like, oh my god, you have to, it's, uh, you know. And I think it's, like, the one thing that she could, like, hold over me, you know what I mean? Because it's always, like, she she was the one who was surprisingly not as well-versed in RPGs as you would think, right? Three and a spinoff. Wow, okay. Yeah, I saw that they're making an RAPD2, and I'm just like, the first one kind of sucked. You know? Like, it had potential, but it kind of sucked. And it was a flop, and, like, why would they make a second one? I, I don't know. Maybe they thought the time's right, you know? Like, <laughs> hey, look, they, they made a second Suicide Squad, even though the first one was kind of a flop and wasn't that great. And, and the second movie was good. Of course, now James Gunn thinks he, his shit doesn't stink, and that's leading to other issues, but, you know. Really, because I saw the trailer and I thought, oh, this looks fun. And then I saw the movie and I was like, huh, it really wasn't that fun. <laughs> it really wasn't that fun. We had this discussion, though, like about like, you know, like Tanya and her weirdness about JRPGs. And I really think that it's possible that she's never actually finished a JRPG. You know what I mean? So like, she talks about how much she loves Grandia and Grandia 2 especially. She talk about a lot, but I, I don't know that like she ever... Like played all the way through them. So there was a Grandia three, huh? Let me see. What system was that on? PS two. Okay. And you said there's a spinoff, huh? Let's see what that's all about. Uh oh, there's a few spinoffs. Let's see what these are. Well, let's see. So we got Grandia Digital Museum on the Saturn. What the hell is that? Well, it was never released in the United States, so... Oh, it's mostly just like a repository of art assets. Grandi Extreme. Hmm. That one was released here. And Grandia Online, don't care. Alright. Yes. I think I had heard of Grandia Extreme, but I thought it was just like a like a like a remaster or something, you know. Like here's Grandia, but now it's Extreme. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's Tales of Symphonia. Sweet. It's so long since I heard any music from that game. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Fucking good, man. They didn't get to. We're here to kill chaos. Get in the car, losers. We're gonna kill chaos. Tales of Symphonia is one of your top fifteen games of all time. That's fair. That's fair. Um, it would be very difficult for me to sit there and actually come up with like a top fifteen games, right? Very hard for me to do that because there's just so many, right? I think absolutely. Xenoblade would be on there, and Skyrim would be on there, and Hollow Knight would be on there. Because these are the games that I just keep coming back to, right? I'm not surprised. <laughs> okay. You know what I would ask? Are you ever surprised? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, I think, I think, because, like, Moogle's, like, a little, like, like Moogle's aware of more than we think he's aware of when it comes to that situation and uh i think moogle's just like yeah she that bitch crazy but, but, yeah not surprising yeah. 
It, it, it's like if you found out Matt Gates eats babies, and you're just like, yeah, it makes sense. He's, 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 he looks like he does, you know. <laughs> he just, he's, you know, he feels like he definitely has uh, had real baby back ribs at some point. <laughs> yeah, but has Moogle ever been surprised? Oh, uh, I gotta tell Moogle about his Lord of the Rings persona. <laughs> he was never sensitized in the first place. There you go. That's a way to put it. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and play the intro so we can get stated here. Uh, Yeet! We got to go out. We got to go out. We got to go out. Huh? You can't hide the aroma of flowers. You can with shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire! 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fire! <laughs> That's exactly what she said. It's something about her ass. Yeah, I get the feeling, though, she's very lonely. She kept talking about her ass. What the hell? <laughs> you beat me! But now you're going to have to take on the desert route to get the water. Oh, I'm dead as shit. My home planet needs me. Goodbye! Let's, uh, go down to my pond. I'll teach you the nature of getting quacked out. Fuma's alternate color is fucking whack. He looks like a fucking punk rock banana. Please enter box. That's what she said. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Come on, are you an ass? You think you could prevent me? You can't stop me. I can't be stopped. Oh, I could be stopped by that, though. Oh, punish me! I got a knife! Oh, I'm a naughty abomination. Hey, now. Yeah, here we are. Come on. Is there no audio on the title screen? I don't think there is, actually. All right. Let's figure out where the hell I was. All right? I know we're at the end, but, like, the end is long. It's because um, of the old intro, where he's like, You better respect my transformers before I change your pronouns into words, were Butch. <laughs> Volcano up here. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Seems right. Volcano there, you know. Yeah. So yeah, we decided, we were talking about who is who, like, you know, for the friend group to be like the Fellowship of the Ring, right? Um, that, that Moog is Pippin. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually in Solfalena. Uh, let me, um... Okay, like, I feel like my guide got scrolled way up. Yeah, way up. Holy shit. Scroll it down. Scroll it down. Um, Jesus, I have no idea where I was. Wait, this is... I went too far down. No, that's Sam. Sam had 13 children. Yeah. I have no idea where I am in the walkthrough because it got scrolled up really far. Well, he had a, he had the hottest wife in the Shire, and you know, he was supposed to propose to her, and instead he left for a year <laughs> to, to go destroy the One Ring. All right, let me give me a moment here to. All right, Luna. this. Sulfalena battle. We did that. Okay. We fought Zahak and Elenia. We fought Raging Zahak and Elenia. We fought Jizzle. Alright. I think I think we figured out where I am here. Who are you? Oh, you're the maid. Yeah, Sam Fox. Canonically. A lot. Well, Prince Askus Johnson, you've really grown up, haven't you? I hardly recognize you anymore. 
I only wish their majesties Queen Arshtat and Commander Farad could have seen you. They'd be proud. Indeed, I rule. Ah, Prince. We located the remaining members of the Godwin faction. The Princess and Lucretia are waiting in the audience chamber. Let's go. Alright, Leon, let's do this. Surprisingly none. Surprisingly none. But it, it seems if you put any two characters, you know, in, in there, you'll get that. If they're unrelated, I guess. Probably because Tolkien actually specifically specified that the elves do not do incest. There, there was incest in the Silmarillion. It was not the elves. They do not do that. I don't really remember my way around here, but I think I'll figure it out. It's been a while since we've been here. In the very beginning of the game, we were in this place. Is this it? Yep, this looks right. I figured it'd be a shorter one, yeah. I wanted to see it when it was out, but I just didn't get the chance to, and then I kind of forgot it existed for a while. Brother! Your Highness, Lord Godwin and his followers have entered the Arshtal, Arshtwal Mountains from the north, from north of Stormfist. Intriguing. I assume his plan was to flee overseas from Hirschville. The Arshtwal Mountains are pretty dangerous, if I recall correctly. He'll have a rough time even surviving, let alone regrouping. Most likely, he's headed for the Sindar runes that were discovered there. Really? But why now? Isato, if you please. Yes, Oracle. So you haven't seen it? Either? I'm not sure about Solfolani yet, but in Lunas, the rivers have been rising over the past few days. The rivers are rising? Yes. The glacier in the Ashtwal Mountains is a major source of water for the Fatus River. Oh, that's gonna be interesting, then. Lord Godwin may be using the sun rune's power to melt the glacier and cause the rivers to swell. Indeed. Indeed. What? I see. Then if my reasoning is correct, the runes of the, in the Ashtwal Mountains are connected to the sun rune. You know what's funny, Evie, is that Sam, in his very old age, left Middle-earth and went to to the Undying Lands, to, to Valinor, and he would... He, may have met Elrond there, and uh, they might have caught up, and I just imagine El Elrond being like, 13? Really? Damn, way to go, bro. <laughs> oh, only had three. <laughs> uh. He may have somehow succeeded in, in eliciting power from the Sun Rune once again. This is bad. If the entire glacier melted, Solfalena would be... No. Half the entire nation would be submerged. Well, then that gives us even more reason to go after him and take back that sun rune. It shall not be an easy endeavor, Lord Wild. The Arshtwal Mountains are a cold, cruel, and unforgiving master. Only the hardiest of men dare venture there. Moreover, Lord Godwin's men have sabotaged the mountain pass. Even with the help of the beavers and cave dwarves, it would seem an all but impossible task. What are we going to do? This is terrible. So he really was lying when he said this was all for Felena's sake. And when things didn't go like he wanted, he just decided to destroy the nation and its people. He calls himself a lord, but he's nothing more than a... than a... than a mean old man. Princess. I mean, we should be calling her queen at this point, right? Like, I know the coronation was a sham, but like... She is the queen. He's weaponizing global warming. You know what he's doing? He's doing. You ever see that Die Another Day? I know it's a fucking terrible movie, but the the, the, the sun laser. <laughs> I never understood that movie because like they had Halle Berry trapped in the ice, the, 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 in the ice hotel. They locked her in a room in the ice hotel, which I don't understand how locks work when everything's made out of ice, right? Doesn't seem to make sense, right? She's in a room. They lock her in the room. She can't get out, and the the main villain is firing the fucking sun laser down onto the hotel, melting it. But somehow the room she's in doesn't melt. It starts filling with water. Who knows where the water's coming from? If the, if the ice that makes up the floor, the walls, and the ceiling 
not melting, but instead it's filling up with water and she almost drowns until like James Bond comes and rams his car into it. And I'm thinking if the laser's coming from above, wouldn't the ceiling be the first thing that melts? It's it's so bad. Yeah, I saw it in the theater and I walked out like, what the fuck was that? Ask Goose Johnson. Come to Lunas. You too, Leon. Huh? With the Dawn Rune the Prince bears, and the Twilight Rune you now bear, we just may have a chance. Really? There's a story passed down by the Oracles of Lunas, but it may or may not be true. No one has tried to verify it for the past several hundred years. All right. We'll just have to take our chances. We have no time to study the matter. Prince, Leon, I'm counting on you. Don't worry, we won't let you down. Brother. I'm counting on you, too. Don't let our country die. Mother and father tried so hard to protect it. Please, you must protect Felena. Dude, what do you think I've been doing for the past, like, 70 hours? Isato joined the party. Zvaig joined the party. Hasbar joined the party. I don't really want those particular characters, but we'll work it out somehow. Hey, and you're the one I need to talk to. Your Highness, the battle isn't over quite yet, is it? Okay. You wish to change your traveling companions, do you? I sure do. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Well, I'm going to move this guy and this guy down here at some point. So we'll just take the characters that I want, which would include... Let me think. Okay. Well, I got, uh, we got to have Mia keys, right? What are we waiting for? And uh, Isabel, for sure. Hey, Gray. Well, lur lurker lives matter. Evil shall perish by my blade. And uh, Zarase. Are you demanding my presence, Prince? And we have Leon. Um, something in the front row being Isabel, Leon, and... Um, I can't think. Oh, you know what? Kyle. And then the Prince, Leon, and uh, Zarase in the back. Okay, I'll go with you. And I guess I'll take Murad. I hope I can be of some help. And let's go ahead and... Wait, not that. Okay, now we do this. There we go. Okay, according to the guide, we're supposed to actually go to the West Palace first? It says the best way is to warp to the card quarters where Vicky would be, and then warp to Stormfist from there. Which I didn't know we could warp to Stormfist. And then from Stormfist, you could just walk right over. I think I might have played that. It's like not amazing or nothing, but yeah, it's fine, right? How many more screens before I reach the overworld? <laughs> that game is so dumb. I remember renting it. And it's just like... First of all, can you even really do that that one where you carry the pizzas? Like, is that even possible? Do I ever get to the overworld? Apparently I'm at a pier. Am I gonna hit water? Yeah, this doesn't seem right. right let me hit this button.
The fact that I haven't been in this area since, like, the very first part of the game has made it a little difficult. I think I might know, though. So I think we have to go out one of the sides. Seems somewhat familiar. Oh, nope, not that. Something like that, though. Maybe this one. No, not that one either. Shite. Maybe this one. No, damn. Dude, I can't even, like, leave this place. Nope. It's like they're assuming I remember how to leave from... You know, thousands of years ago, before Sigourney Weaver. This doesn't look right. It just brought me back here. Dude, there's got to be a way out of this place. I really thought like one of these was like a bridge that leads out, but I don't know, I might have been thinking of Stormfist or something. Bunch of treasure chests that I know I've already gotten because they're wide open. Wait, wait, wait. Alright, I think we got it. All those cartoon games always have like some difference, right? Oh, in Japan it was Mickey Mouse, but here it's Popeye, or, you know, something like that. Alright, so I guess I'll use the blinking mirror. And then have you take me to Stormfist. Stormfist. Oh, look at that. A fortune piece. Whatever. Why, why would it warp me to the middle of a building like... Like what? It warped me to the prison? Is this a normal thing? Alright, once again, I'm gonna have to find my way out of here, so... Wait. Is this... Is this Stormfist? Because it reminds me of... She fucked up. She didn't send me to Stormfist. She sent me to, like, a random room in the palace. That, that's kind of a joke that they... Oh, no, 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 no. A joke that they keep doing in, um... Suikid and that Vicky occasionally screws up. There we go, that's... that's more... I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, Alright, so from here... Let me just go, um... this way. I've honestly never even seen gameplay of that. Oh, come on. Alright, we got a battle. Versus... fucking... whoa, this guy. A raging assassin. He's got a raging ass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm, ass. Yeet. Well, that was something. <laughs> Dude, Askus. Is, well, two characters, but Eskus especially is extremely close to leveling up. Is this the West Palace? Yes, it is. Okay. So what am I supposed to do here? Building with a red roof to the south. There's a hidden door to get in here. What's that? Is that really red? That, oh, I got in there. Okay. It's kind of red. Oh, this is to get treasures and stuff, huh? Resurrection piece. Okay. So this is literally just to get treasures. So we go this way, and then down here. Windspun ring. Wait, hold on. What is that? That sounds a little exciting. Like, it might be something I want. 
Wind attack. Oh, nobody's using wind. The only person I had using wind was like fucking Psyleads, you know? And I'm not obviously using her. She's. She, she's dead or something. Uh. Should be another chest back here somewhere. Yep, here it is. Come on. Windspun cape. If I go up this way. Advanced combat. Actually, that's good that I found that. Okay. Enter the main building to the south. Illusion tactic. Alright. Wait. No? Okay. Thought I could go through there for some reason. Zen Sword Epic. Okay, cool. I remember hearing something, and I don't know how true this is. This could be complete fabrication, right? It's something that somebody said online. That Snoopy as a character is so popular in Japan that there was a, a line of women's lingerie that was like Snoopy branded. I don't know how true that is, though. All right, cool. All right, I want to get back to Solfalena, and I guess the easiest way to do that would be to um, use the blinking mirror to go back to the, to the, you know, the runes, and then warp to Solfalena. Or should we just go to Lunas? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to Lunas. Why go back to Solfalina to walk there, you know? Oracle, you have returned. It's good to be back. Your Highness, thank you so much for coming. This way, asked Goose Johnson, there's a fountain behind the waterfall. You were here last time for Little Lim's purification rite, remember? Come on. God damn it. Another place it's been a while since I've been here, but I pretty much know my way around. Uh, compact stereo. That's funny, because, you know, he's a musician. And So, what are we going to do here? Patience, young one. All right, stand there, you two. Good, good, right there. Now, turn your runes toward the statue. Like this? What just happened? You are now married. So, do you know, had you ever heard the, the weird lingerie thing? Because I'd heard that. I don't know how true it is. It could be bullshit. Snoopy lingerie. So silly. Wow. Oh my. Absolutely amazing. I've never seen this before. But I suppose it makes sense. What do you mean, Lady Haswar? Do you recall why Lunas is a holy land? This is full holes? Of course. It's because the first Queen of Felina appeared here with the Sun Rune, right? That's right. What well, I feel like it's Dora the Explorer. That's right. Oh, so then do you think... Right. The first Queen of Felena came here from deep within the Ashtual Mountains. 
probably from the very runes Lord Godwin and his followers discovered. I don't precisely know what all that means. However, I'm almost sure this path will lead you right to those runes. Let's do it then. Are you certain you wish to go? I see. I wish you a safe journey then, but be careful. We will. Misato left the party. Hazwar left the party. That's good. I didn't want them anyway. All right. Oh, trippy. Ashtwal Mountains. Brr. It sure is cold, Prince. You're the one in the miniskirt. Hmm? Look, over there. It's a cool looking area, though. Oh, that's adorable. Is that... Those are Sindar runes, no doubt about it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's hurry. Nope, got battles here. Alright, another one of these guys. Eat that. Yeet. Fuck. Oh, damn. Really? That's, that's, that's fucking. This guy's got a lot of health. All right. For a regular ass enemy. All right, Leon and Askus both leveled up there. All right, random elite trooper guys. Yeet. Nice. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Barry. Yeet. Hey, these guys also kind of bulky for just random trooper guys. That's okay. We can handle it. Hold on to that for me. All right, look at that. Hello level ups. Wow. I don't even see all who leveled up. is like at least three level ups there. All right, we got another battle. All right, one of these shit lords, the raging ass. At least he didn't get a free round. I remember the chocolate chip cookie thing, and it was kind of cute, but like, I don't think anybody should <laughs> told him dog and chocolate. Not a not a good mix, right? We're definitely getting lots of experience points here. Now here's something. A hunter orb. Okay. Hmm. He's a special dog that can eat it. <laughs> Very special, right? Oh no, a mini boss, really? Ah, fuck. All right, nemesis. I'm a member of Stairs. Wait, don't don't be doing that. Hold on. I think you would have had to do that just so kids don't 
give their dogs chocolate, right? Oh god, ow. Uh, I do auto for this turn. Dude, leave Isabelle alone. Damn, really? Well, you got Kyle powered up. Anytime somebody falls in battle, Kyle gets a little boost. Yo, we got a hard on for Isabelle. I mean, who doesn't, but still. Alright, look like Kyle, Zarase, and Leon leveled up there. Gonna have to heal, uh. Isabelle a bit. Hmm. Wait, hold on. I think I missed something. Not that it's that big of a deal, but... I mean, you know, just don't mention it, right? Don't tell them. Oh, by the way, this ain't loaded. Right? <laughs> damn, Isabel, damn. a win. There's supposed to be a chest. I don't see anything. I'm just gonna go across there. That's funny. So he didn't even know. That's funny. Whoa, what the fuck? Is a bitch box? Visage box? Whatever. You... That's creepy, though. Oh, can creepy face boxes just not? Uh huh. It's like a tool album. <laughs> oh, and then you open it up and it's disappointing. Dude, why are you only attacking Zarase? Could you just chill with that shit? You're done. Snake eyes, bitch. Alright, Mia Keys, Isabel, Askus, and Leon all leveled up there. Definitely gotta heal Zarase after that mess. Where is she? She's here. Good enough. Alright. Alright. Okay, that's fair, but the first time it's disappointing, right? After that, you're like, yeah, that's about right. Another raging ass. Jeez, really? Hold on to that. Not today. God damn it. She's good at blocking, but she needs to hit more often. Wow, talk about a hard-on for one character. Like, I'll just concentrate all of my attacks right here. <laughs> I got a crazed orb. Because I'm crazed. Linking rune piece. Mixed herbs, but I have no room. Go. That sounds like a healing thing. Maybe I wanna... Yeah. I'll just get discard it then, because it's only one use. All right, mixed herbs. I think we're almost done with this. This ice part. All right, hella elite troops. have her throw out the uh, meteor shower here. What? Oh damn, Miyaki's going in. He didn't 
she didn't go after him. She replied to him. If he had never tagged her and never bothered her, he probably never would have heard from her, right? That's so silly. People are crazy, man. They'll do anything to justify. Like, if you go out there and just sort of like, and, and like, like start some shit. Kyle and Zerasi love it. Thunder God's armor, that sounds good. Uh, and the Sacrificial Jizo, those are good. Hold on, you know what? Um... Okay, we good. Like, if you go out there starting some shit and then somebody claps back, you can't be like, oh, don't come after me, you know, like, like come on. That's bullshit. Um, yeah. So let's see, the two things I wanted to look at was... Thunder Gods are oh, it's not that, it's not good at all. What was the other thing that I picked up? Oh, it was a J Sacrificial Jizo. Um... I'd give that to anybody that has room, right? I'll give it to Mia Keys since she's in the front. Yeah, but it's like regardless, like it, he started it. Oh, here's the entrance. So, you know, it's huge. And to think he'd keep something this big a secret. That selfish Lord Godwin cares for nothing but himself. He cares nothing for true science and research. Well, enough of that. Let's go. Oh god, apparently we have to split up into three parties now. This is gonna suck. What's that? Wait, let me see something real quick. Is this, like, the kind of, like, final dungeon? Yeah, this is the final dungeon, guys. Seems like it might be kind of long, but it's the final dungeon. The Dawn Rune. The Twilight Rune. So, yeah. And the Sun Rune? It must work just like the runes in Ceres Lake in the Deep Twilight Forest. Each door will only open in response to the appropriate rune. Wait, so does that mean Lord Godwin hasn't been here yet? No, just the opposite. Think about those stone tablets we found in Stormfist. Lord Godwin's survey team must have entered these runes a few years back. That's where he got them. The doors were probably open back then. So why are they closed now? It may be that when someone took the sun rune inside, the mechanism in the runes chain closed them tight. So, Lord Godwin and the sun rune are somewhere in there. It won't do any good to just stand around. Start by trying to open the left and right doors. Okay. So we're gonna have to split into several parties and this is basically the final dungeon. I guess we'll, we'll beat this today, huh? I'm excited. I don't have the next game set up, but we could, like I could do like, if we have like a lot of stream time left, I could do like Rogue Legacy grinding or something, you know, Rogue Legacy. Oh, and that one just opened. Interesting. Three entrances, and their mechanisms might be interlocked. This is going to be tough. Your Highness! I figured Lucerina had to show up, right? George, and Lucerina too? Is something wrong? I was just concerned about what might happen here, so I brought along someone with some time on her hands. I felt bad that Your Highness and Lady Leon have been asked to do just about everything lately. Because if you have to make three parties, Lucerina's gotta be around. Lucerina. Well, your timing is perfect. As you can see, there are three entrances. I wasn't too sure about exploring all, all of them ourselves. But now that all of us are here, we can split up, correct? Indeed. Let's split into three groups, one for each entrance. The only thing is, there may be doors further in that can only be opened with runes. Since you bear the Dawn Rune, you should lead the party that explores the right entrance. And since you bear the Twilight Rune, you take the left entrance. Right. I'll take the middle. I'll come with you, Zvi. Yeah, because he's not that strong and George is, so it's good to have George on that team. I don't like the idea of a bookworm like you going it alone. Hm. 
I'm stronger than I appear, you know. But I'd be honored to receive the protection of a Queen's Knight. All right, Your Highness, please select the other members for each party. Let's start with who will go with Your Highness. Okay, so I will take... I will take Mia Keys. What are we waiting for? I will take... Zagai. No, not Zagai. What is it? Yeah, Zagai. I'll take Zagai. Hmm. I will take... Zarase. Are you demanding my presence, Prince? I will take... I will take Belku. Always an honor, Your Highness. And for the last one... I will take... It's a tough choice, right? I will take Roy with me. He's a little low level, but he'll catch up fast. Ah, sure, why not? And for the entourage, since I'm using some unfamiliar characters, I should probably take Dongo. Good choice. Happy to help. Next, please select who will go with Lady Leon. Alright, so Leon, you're gonna get Isabel. Evil shall perish by my blade. And we're gonna need a magic user, right? Like, how about Vicky? Not Vicky, what do you call her? Jean. Where is Jean? There she is. Jean, you're going. <laughs> Lead on, princess. And. How about Kyle? Ready at your side, my lady. Oh, and yours too, your highness. And then we'll put in... I'm thinking Phelan and her brother as well. You're here too? Ah, forget it. Really, it's okay. I wonder if I can swap Dongo from party to party so that he can revive... You know, I don't know. We'll, f we'll figure it out. Probably not. But I'll take her brother. Just tell me where to go. And we'll take... Um... I guess uh, Murad, probably. Or Marina. We'll take Marina. Glad to be of assistance. Finally, please select who will go with Sir George and Zweig. Alright, well, he's got George, who's pretty strong, so that's good. So let's take... Um... Thinking about this very carefully. I'm looking at all these names. Maybe Shun, right? It's an honor, sir. I mean, your highness. Um... And Vicky? What? Yes, of course. Alright, now I'm strictly looking at levels. Take Galleon. At your side, your highness. And, oh, let me look at this. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Maybe Ernst? Or Isado. I'm gonna take Isado. If your highness wills it. And in the entourage, this is where I'll put Murad. Hopefully this isn't going to be too bad. I hope I can be of some help. Are you happy with the parties you formed, Your Highness? Yes. Alright. The others can stay and stand guard or lend a hand if needed. Good luck, Your Highness. 
Well, then shall we? I have no idea what lies ahead. Careful now. Prince, don't let your guard down. Your Highness. Alright. Okay, first of all, let's look at this formation. Belkut's gotta be in front. Zarase's, okay. Alright, I'm um, thinking we'll do like this, right? And skill wise, I wanna use Dongo's skill. Because a few of these guys have pretty crappy weapons. Like Belkut's was level 10. Gvozdika? Yeah. I think I have plenty of money. Soho. So, uh, you're a hoe? Um, now I'm actually running low on money. Oh man, Roy's level one? Alright. Put it all on Roy. I didn't realize this Twilight Numchaku was level one. Or I wouldn't have taken him. Alright, we're kind of out of money here, so we're going to have to make do with what we've got. Alright, so let's see what we're doing. Have to scroll down quite a bit here. Still on fast forward. Apparently, you use the circle button to swap between them. Alright, so let me swap here. And that's Leon's party, which I definitely want to look at the uh, formation as well. Okay, so let's see. You need to be in front, you're in front, you need to be in front, and Phelan needs to be in the back. Phelan needs to be in the front, so. I do like this. Hopefully this is fine. I'm kind of doing the same thing, apparently. Alright. Kind of Final Fantasy VI-ish, huh? With the three parties at the end. Not that. You need to be in front, you need to be in front, and you need to be in the back. Everything's fine then. Alright. Oh, you know what I should do? Uh, I should also, like, look and see if any of this equip random equipment that I have is any good for any of these people. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Hello. Sun boots. Why? Why would they get angry at that? Alright, we got terror armors. Alright, oh god. Shun, you suck. Good thing they're attacking George. Like, I, I just played it recently and it seemed like it was the same translation from, like, the Game Boy Advance version. It was slightly touched up, but... Nothing too major there. Alright, go. I didn't realize Shun was that weak. Oh god.
What do they mean by literal translation, and why is that a bad thing? Well, he's down. I'm not surprised there. I wouldn't have taken Shun if I'd known he was going to be that shitty. Like, he just joined, so I figured, hey, he's a decent level, he just joined, he should be pretty ready, right? Not a thing. I don't know what that means. It's a literal translation, I don't know why that's a bad thing, but alright. Are they just caping for the SNES version? Alright, obviously lots of level ups except for Shun. If it's a literal translation, then it does match it. Right? Like, isn't that what literal means? Alright, so... Okay, let me re wait. We've got to go to Leon. Oh, that it wasn't literal. I don't know. Have they played it in Japanese? Like, it's kind of weird. I don't know. Like, well, what, 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 where is there a literal translation of it then, right? I don't know. It's kind of silly. All right, cool. Oh, boy. One of these guys, all right. All right, here we go. So I guess they just don't like any, uh, any of the translations, I guess. All right, good, 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 good. Not today. All right, he's done. All right, Gene Phelan and Phelan leveled up. I got a gray hat. They were the final boss of Weaves. <laughs> Uh... Oop. Oh god, alright, we got some billion eyes, alright. Oh, come on, Isabel. Oh. I don't know. Like I, like I said, I just played through that not long ago, and I can't say I have any complaints about the translation, really. Gotta go for it. Oh my god, Isabel, what the fuck, dude? I don't understand why she misses so much. What is this guy doing? That's not too bad. Alright. Oh my god, how is this still going? Got it, that one, alright. That wasn't even the one that was weakened. This guy's been weakened for like three turns and he's still dead. dead. Oh, thank you, thank you, Kyle, what the fuck. Alright, Isabel, Phelan, Phelan, and Jean all leveling up. Scary shit. Anime dub should be considered vandalism. Ah, oh, so they're just a general shit lord. I get it.
Just a general shitlord. Okay, um... Okay. Gotta love when you run into a battle where you can't actually see your character at all, so... Alright, here we go. Oh my god, why do you have to go for him? Leave him alone, he's weak. Honestly, oh god. I should be having Zarase cut loose. Well, th these kind of people never do, you know? They always just talk shit. Like, I could tell the difference between a really good translation and a really bad translation. And Final Fantasy XVI version, you know, the Pixel Remaster, is a really good translation, so... You know, right, Gibbsy? What do you think? Gibbsy, what do you think? Are you ignoring me? He's blinking like, oh, uh, what do you leave me alone? I'm tired. All right, gotta go for it. Oh, good, 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 good. All right, that's fine as well. All right, we got it. Poor Roy. There's a guy and Belkut are leveling up like a lot. A Thunder Guard Zimmer and Sacrificial Jizo. I probably don't want that now. I should have taken the Jizo though. Well, I think I have another, like, one handy. Oh, wait, did I just switch parties? That's my bad, I didn't mean to do that. Because I think I have another one that I can just, um... Maybe not. I have a lot of bullshit is what I have. No, I, th I know I saw one. There it is. No. Oh. Hold on. Oh, I gotta go to equip. That's right. I got a few of them. So they can give it to the guy who's not surviving and maybe I'll level up a bit, you know? Alright, but I definitely gotta um, heal. I'm carrying this big cheesecake for a while now. Damn it, don't just. Thank you. Also, I had a thought, um, uh, where are the skills? Since I do have Zagai with me. Wow. Well, I'm gonna speed this up a bit. At least give him some. Oh, well, he doesn't really have much. Okay. Okay. So, what am I doing now? We can go Leon. It's a confusing dungeon, but we'll figure it out. So I guess I'm, I'm supposed to go this way, huh? No, damn. All right, shit. Where was that? Oh, boy. Oh, it's just one of these guys. I can handle that. All right.
Oh really? Damn. What's what kind of server was this, by the way? I'm out of curiosity. All right, people leveling up, and I got a crazed orb. It says west from the first elevator. I'm not sure what they mean by that. Wait, are they talking about going? I think like this. Yes. I get it now. Wow. Okay. Can I just not? Okay, good. Just didn't feel like fighting those assholes. Okay. I should go this way. Alright, so now we need Zvig. But he's in the wrong place. It's this bird, yeah. Alright. Got it. Oh, this shit. Okay, um... Can I just not do it? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to fight those things at this party. That could be cool. Um, hold on this way. Oop. Alright, I guess I'm doing it. Barrage. That was a free turn, I guess. I didn't notice that right away. Oh, damn, George! Alright, two of them down. Alright, very nice, very nice. Guy's still fucking alive. Ooh, got him. Alright. Everybody but George levels up multiple times. Okay, that happened. Got it. Royal Garb. Is that something I actually want to use, or...? Hmm. I, that, that's good, to the point where I should probably save it from one of the characters that I'm actually using, you know? God, I really... Rather not. All right. I should actually see if I need to heal anybody. Uh, not desperately now. Oh, and then there's a battle. Okay. Damn. Damn, George, damn. I mean, he's the heavy here. Although Isado and, um... What's-his-face? Are, are doing good damage. Uh, what's that guy's name again? Shit. I'll have to see it when the next turn comes up. Oof. And, uh... Galleon. Yeah, I'd play, like, a Super Luigi RPG, if it was, you know, done well. Yeah, 
There we go. Everybody but George gets several levels up. I should see for this party if anybody wants that Thunder God armor. No. Yeah, I'd love to hear about that. Oh, hold on, let me see that. Uh, healing. Okay, wait, where was I now? Let's see. Alright, cool. That's the sun armor. The sun armor, like all the sun stuff I'm getting for the prince, I think. And then this way. The yeah, imagine. I don't know. It's not a literal translation. Okay, so. If you do literal translations, you wind up with a lot of cultural references that don't make sense. Part of localization is making sure that people get what's being said. It actually specifies right here that I should definitely make sure my party is healed. I don't know if they gotta fight a boss or something, but... Uh, I mean, they're pretty much healed. I don't know why, but because it then tells you to just switch to Leon. All right. Is that a boss? Oh, God. I would love to get out of this with this. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can. No. Uh, I'll try again. Okay, let's actually fight it then. Alright. I'm using magic. I mean, you just attack. Shit. Alright, here we go. <laughs> yes. Oh, that would be funny. I'm gonna walk towards you very, very slowly. Ugh. Come back to Dark Souls, you shitter. This is why I made sure that each party had at least one strong magic user. This is the funniest fucking attack. He just throws his sister at him. I think I can finish this guy off without any magic. Absolutely can. Okay. Phelan, Phelan, Leon, and Jean all leveling up. Okay. Rangrasser. Oh, do I really have to deal with this idiot? Let's see if I can maybe get out of this. No. All right. All right. I'll just do regular attack. See how that goes. Oh god. No. Go for it. Hmm. 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 You're hitting the stronger character, so it's okay. Got him. Alright, cool. Wow. What an asshole. Alright, Phelan and Phelan leveling up there. Make sure I get healed from that, because that was a bit of a mess. Oh, there's the sun gloves. Oh, 
Alright. Uh, it'll do it, it'll do it. Just so I can beat this guy. Nice. I understand why the attack where he throws his sister at the enemy like that. I understand why it dazes her. I don't understand why it dazes him. Alright, Jean leveled up. Right? Like, shouldn't shouldn't she be dazed and he should be fine? I guess maybe because he's spinning around so much. Maybe that's it. Okay, cool. So now we're going to switch to the prince. He's shocked by the side of it. That could be it too. Alright, uh... Oh, there's the sun helmet. That wasn't... That's not matching what it's telling me. Oh, no, okay, I'm a little, uh... I was a little... Okay. Off. But I should put this... No, not that. I should put this sun equipment on him, though. Let's see. Sun helmet. Uh, yeah. Okay, sun gloves. Sun arm... Wait, the sun armor is worse than what he has? Really? Alright, hold on to that, then. What does he have? Corruption set shell. I didn't realize that was that good. Dude, I'll give it to like Mia Keys or something then. Or well, well, no, she couldn't use it. It's worse than what she has. Well, then maybe I'll see if Leon can have it or something. I'll hold on to it. Damn. All right. All right. Here we go. No, hold on. Don't do that. Since she can regenerate her magic just by attacking. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, see, she just regenerated that magic point. Miyuki's going in. Killing that guy. I didn't realize the corruption shells were that good. good. Belkut and Roy leveling up a bunch. I mean, Roy needs all those levels. Actually, let me see something real quick. Um... Graphics are fucking up again now. Is it the armor that he was wearing, you know? Okay, um, let me see if I can unfuck the graphics real quick, because it's. When I loaded the save, it kinda. All right, let me look at the menu now and see. Yeah, now it's fine. Oh, wait, should I have gone south there? No, it says go to the elevator and continue west. Follow the path as it turns north. All right. Uh, I'd rather not. Okay. Apparently, we are coming up to a boss fairly soon. Alright, this I can definitely handle. I don't know which party you have to fight a boss with, or if you can choose, but... Hopefully this party. Despite Roy being in it. It's the 
strongest of the three. And Roy leveled up. Only one way to go. I was just about to switch, too. Oh, okay, I can do this with this part easily. Alright. Hold on to that. Everybody hit him in the tank. The whole world's gonna know you don't scratch him all balls. Hey, put him to sleep. My drummer runs boot, so boot put a rise to sleep. Hmm. And Roy leveling up some more. How you enjoying it? Wait. It says walk east a few steps to hit an elevator, but I meant... I'm confused. East. Maybe I should go up here? Ah. Uh. I'm confused. It sets a switch to Leon. Did I not put her in the right spot? Or, like, what's the deal? This doesn't seem right. It seems like I'm going backwards. Oh, come on. I, I'm trying to figure this out now. Oh, no. Can I, can I please? Let me see. Can I please get out of this? Thank you. All right, cool. I'm very, uh... Now, see, I'm, I'm going backwards a lot. This isn't right. I mean... So it's switched to Leon Walk East at this elevator. But then it says the walkway will take you west. Oh, I didn't mean to actually attack. Oh, God. I could have easily retreated there. I'll retreat here. Maybe I should go this way? Okay. Oh, I should look at the sun armor for any- some, uh, maybe for either Kyle or, uh, Leon. Since Askus has something better. Well, it's worse than what Kyle has, but it's good for Leon, so I'll give it to her. He didn't have a helmet on. Alright. No, I, I got that, so I'm, I'm, I'm very, uh confused by this. I'm not understanding it. You see something. Shouldn't you've hit some switch that maybe I should go up this? Yeah, I think I had to hit a switch. Holy shit! A wyvern! Uh, I... I'm going to retreat since I got a free round. I think this is what I didn't do. Yes, okay. But this doesn't look like... Come on, man, what? What is this? Wait, is this the boss? Oh no, I'm fighting with the wrong party. This is the actual boss. Oh, what did I just do? I just went to the end of the damn thing. All right, well, I can search for his name to get there. Gerta Blue Lou. I did not mean to do. Well, let's try it. Uh, 
I mean, I had the option of, like, doing it with the, the prince, but I guess I fucked up. No, no, maybe you're supposed. I, I don't know. Maybe I read it wrong. Maybe it's written badly. Ow! Damn. Really? Add a Katarina. That I'm not familiar with. I didn't even see how much damage. Right there. Hopefully, I'm doing good. That barely did any damage. Better off just having them attack, I think. Go back to the last time I saved. But... Well, it actually does say that. Now that I see this, it does say that Leon's supposed to fight this boss. All right. Man, Kyle's like almost dead here. Hold on to that for me. Okay, go for her. Here we go. At least this guy pre seems pretty slow, so all my attacks come out first. Aurora Borealis. Oh, nice. Oh no, he didn't heal them yet. Oh, that sucks. Because Phelan was healing him. Oh, and that got him. Go figure. Okay, that's fine. Kyle didn't need levels that badly anyway. Everybody but Kyle level. Immortal Medicine and Tachibana Greaves. Okay, cool. We got this guy. Alright, so... Let me see about these Tachibana Greaves, though. Talk him to Isabel for sure, yeah. I'm running a little low on healing stuff here, I think. Got a lot of single... Oh, here's a bunch of them. Alright. Now I feel better. That's not so bad. All right, I'm going to save it. I 
And this should end her section. We gotta get all of them in here, and they probably all have to fight a boss. Yeah, he's about to fight a boss, too. Right, so. Am I healed up? As well as I can be. Ooh, look at this little dude. Alright, here we go. He has a rune. Can he do it? Fierce Tiger rune? Let's try it. I think she's going to be doing a lot of it. Oh, this doesn't seem good. I'll try it. He has a rune as well. Great Hawk rune. Nah, that's not. This might suck. This might not be a good party for this. Oh, good, 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 good. All right. Hmm. If anything, George is gonna have to solo him. Try that. Here we go. Okay, cool. Greaves of grieving? Oh, that's funny. It's a good... It sounds like something that fits in Marwyn, too. That doesn't do too bad damage, though. It's just not the greatest. I didn't realize she didn't really have good attacking runes. This guy's Gudalum. Oh, he's down. Like I said, it's George that'll do the best here, so hopefully he does fine. Orcish Greaves. Makes sense. That sounds like something an orc would name it. These are the Greaves of Grieving. I gotta be like, like, um, Elder Scrolls orcs are somewhat analogous to, um, Klingons, right? George did get smacked there. Right. Oof. I'm gonna have him defend here, because I really need to heal him. He's the only one that's, like, doing... Really good damage. Oh my god, but he's doing more than I can heal him for. George, you need to start, like, fucking dodging, man. What do you have? Cheesecake. Thunder. Up. Like, he was dodging a bunch at first, but... Okay, well, that's it for Vicky. I got him healed, though. Just in case. Here we go. Good hit. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I was thinking that, you know? Oh, no, don't miss. Oh god. Burned him too. Oh I got it. Oh let's fucking go. Alright. Even George leveled up. That was a rough one though. No, don't do that. Oh, fuck. oh, no, that's fine. That, that wasn't me switching. All right.
<laughs> the best I can do right now. Hey, Moogle, what's going on? Oh, shit. What was I going to ask? I was going to ask Moogle or so something, and I don't remember what it was. Y'all... Shit, I don't remember. All right, we have another boss coming up. But at least this will be the prince. All right, let me just see if I'm healed up. There was something that I wanted to ask you or say to you or something, and I don't remember what it was. I might not have any healing left. Hold on. You got a water room, so... Hey, DR DRW, what's going on? On here, just call me Necro, please. Oh yeah, uh, Moogle. Last night, me and June and Alice and a bunch of other people all watched Fellowship of the Ring, and we were talking about, like, which characters match up to, like, our friend group, and we decided that you are Pippin. Alright, I'll save in case this goes awry, but... This is the strongest of the three parties. I should be able to do this. There we go. Ooh, ugly. Alright, what, what is this thing? And Mashara. Hey, Doc Cobra. Yeah, you're Pippin, Mogul. Because you're, you're overall a good dude, right? Somebody you'd want to have by your side. Good friend. One and a half brain cells, exactly. Can you be Egbert? I mean, Egbert's not a Lord of the Rings character, but if you want to be a Suikoden character, you can pick whichever one you want. Alright, here we go. Um, so you're basically going to wind up being my healer, aren't you? Should I do the shield rune, or...? Yes, do that, for sure. Um, you have a fire rune. I don't know, I think you're just gonna attack. Yep, likes his brew, too, exactly. Alright, absolutely gonna go for the big old meteor shower. And I might just have you attack, right? Oh, you have a flowing rune, too, so I got two healers. I, I, I gotta stack this team with healing. And there's nothing that you can do, Roy, except just, like, do chip damage, so... Here we go. Yeah, Moogle's Pippin. For sure. Thank you for the bits, DRW. How's it going? I ain't seen you in a bit. Oh, good. She went... Well, I would have preferred she goes before Zerase, but, you know, it do be like that. Okay, that was not bad at all. Understandable. Understandable. Alright, so everybody's powered up. So... Don't do that. Just attack. She's got such strong attack. So now we'll do the fire. Oh, he doesn't have good magic, though. Just attack. Alright, go for the... Uh, no, not that. Meteor shower, and... I think we just attack here. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna get this guy. Product development manager? That sounds fancy. Develop and manage products. Oh, hold this rock. Dude, you got like a hard on for fucking Mia Keys or what? Alright, well, we definitely heal on this turn. Oh, all you have is kindness drops? I'll do it to Mia Keys. I know I could replenish magic, but while the magic boost is still going, I want to, uh... Yeah, it sounds like, it sounds like, a, like a big one there. I want to do damage. Alright, here we go. Good hit. That was a double crit. I think this is the last turn of magic boost. What I could do now is have her do the magic boost again and have Zarase attack to get a magic point back. Oh my god, Belku. He's tanked that. I knew taking him along was not going to be a bad idea. Roy, you suck. I don't know why I brought you. I thought you'd be good somehow. Yeah, Belku really did tank that. Alright. Alright, so we're going to do the um, battlefield. 
Zarasi will get a magic point back by attacking. And oh, all right, here we go. Good hit. Really good hit, actually. Damn, bro. Oh, he's down. Damn, I was hoping he would survive. And I should have had the prince heal him, but the prince did so much damage. Alright, Belku, you did your job. You did good. I can't be mad at you at all. It just kind of leaves Sarase a little undefended here, but... It's okay. Here we go. Thonk. God, this thing's got so much magic defense. Yeah, go in, go in. He's dead. He's done. This guy sucks. Mortal medicine and a water rain. Alright, so... Apparently we've, we've reached what basically is the point of no return. But we will be healed before going in. Hopefully we get to pick our party. Alright, yeah. We can pick whatever party we want for the final battle. Power pull. Which which spell was making the really annoying sound? Ah, Prince! Are you alright? You haven't been hurt, have you? With the meteor shower? I see nothing's changed between you two. Now that we're all here, let's press on. This way. Apparently we get healed, so that's why I didn't bother healing. Wait. Uh, well, some of those high-pitched screeches can be very annoying. Something's coming and it doesn't sound human. Could the Guardians of the Runes still be here? Ask Goose Johnson. Leon, take some of the party ahead with you. The rest will stand guard here. This foe is beyond any of you! Fly, you fools! Okay. Decide who to take. Alright. Well, we have to take Leon. Let's see. Alright, I know who I want. We want Mia Keys. We want to make the best party. What are we waiting for? We want... Uh, 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 come on. Come on. Isabel. Evil shall perish by my blade. Uh... Zarase. Are you demanding my presence, Prince? And, uh... I'm drawing a blank here. Kyle! Duh! Okay, I'll go with you, Unken Masters! Alright. And... I don't think we need Dongo anymore. We definitely want Marina. Glad to be of assistance. We want Murad. Um, it's a guy. Can I take? Can I take you? Hmm. That's really it. I don't see how I would need anybody else. We're done. You sure? As long as I can get into the menu, yeah. Yes. Okay, let's go. They really are like you could sit there and pick them apart and come up with all the flaws and everything, but actually watching them is always a great experience. Ask Goose Johnson, Leon. We're counting on you. Get that sun rune. George. We won't let you down. I wonder if that's, that speech with him happens if you take him. Or was he not available? I don't know. Are you smuggling a bucket of wings? Oh god, it's fucking... I knew Dolph was going to be important at the end. I did get healed. Um, Did it heal my magic, I wonder? Hold on, let's do this. Uh, skills? Use... Well, Zaras say use on yourself, right? Oh, she... Really? Did I never get, like, the Master Magic one? Alright, then never mind that. Okay. It's a guy I brought you along for a reason.
I didn't get as much of these points as I was hoping I did. Well, wait, is that enough to do like one more? No, it's not. I'll make a save. Because it looks like we're fighting Dull for something. Dolph? Oh wait, is this a duel? It's a duel, isn't it? So you're all that stands between us and Lord Godwin? You could say that. This fucking creep. I see. Please, let me handle this prince. Oh, Leon's gonna do it? Well, I never really collected old systems. I collected games specifically for GameCube, but I don't really collect anymore now. Oh, I can decide to do it myself? Oh, apparent, apparently it doesn't matter. Okay, but be careful that she'll fight him no matter what. Oh, thank you. Alright, I can do this. I'm good at duels. Let's settle this for good, Dolph. You don't stand a chance, but if you insist... You can't defeat me in that condition. Surely you realize that. I won't know until I try. Here we go. Here I come. See how you hold up. I think it's just gonna be an attack. Uh I was right. Get your fucking ass out of here. That was very good indeed, but it won't happen again. Hmm. I'm gonna guard. Okay, he's guarding. I should have attacked. Anything wrong? Anything wrong with you? Well, DuckTales 2 is the really rare one. You'd want to look. The more time you waste, the more pain you'll be in, you know. Um, guard. Oh, he's guarding again. Damn. Anything he guards a lot, huh? Anything wrong with you? He is just some guy. Like, if you're in that he's so generic. Why don't I just end this right now? Guard. Yes. Get fucking ass out of here. Do you think you'll be able to do that one more time? Yes, I do. You're an idiot. You did very well. I guess I should stop going easy on you. Are you spamming? You're spamming, sir. Oh, dude, I got this dude's number. Well, that was a surprise. Do you think we could do that again? Dude, he's spamming. He just kept doing the same thing over and over again. You did very well. And he was very obvious about what he was going to do. For anyone who doesn't know, like you, do, you have to like interpret what they're saying as what they're going to do. <sighs> Why are you panning? You didn't even get hit. What the? But how? I said you didn't stand a chance. My body is half dead already. He's a creepy weirdo. Wait, hold on. Let me fix the graphics. Every time I come out of, like, a duel, it does this shit. Give me one second, guys. All fixed. All right. Huh? Video games? <laughs> huh? What? Huh? Video games? All right. <laughs> I haven't done that in a bit. We had to do it. I think I might have overdosed. My wounds don't bleed, and I feel no pain. The perfect body for a battle to the death. But why would... It was I who killed His Excellency's wife. You? So it was quite a surprise when His, El His Excellency and Sir Jizzle took me in after Nethergate was disbanded. To repay their kindness, I tried all sorts of drugs so I could better serve them. Of course, they were only using me for their own personal vendettas, but I was happy as long as I could keep killing. You're insane. But I've always said too much. Let's get this over with. Cutscene! Nope! Get ruined, bitch. Dolph. I'm sorry, Prince. I'm... I'm alright. 
Let's go, Prince. Ah, I knew it. Whenever it changes engines, I have to do this again. All right, behind that's the final boss, guys. Let me just fix the graphics again. Oh, there's probably going to be like more cutscenes, and it's going to fuck up again. It, it it was ever since I changed my settings to be like what works for Dragon Quest VIII. Make a save. Video games. Ah. DuckTales is a good game, though. Is this... You ever play the remake? Than I expected. I guess so are we fighting him or are we fighting I the rune? Because usually you wind up fighting the rune. That's Unless it's like a throwback to Suikoden in one, right? Lord 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 Don't Lord. worry. The reason I melted that glacier was to lead you all here. I had no intention of flooding Felena. I love Felena as much as you do, you know. Not as much as you love mustache cream. Then tell me, why? Why did you kill so many people? Why did you destroy so many lives? Tell me why! I wanted Felena to be a strong, prosperous country. I truly did. But I think we became spellbound by the power of the Sun Rune before we even realized it. We started to think that absolute justice was on our side, and that it was all right to destroy anyone who disobeyed. Just like Queen Arshtat. But don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying that all of this happened because the Sun Rune bewitched me. Actually, it's more like I chose to let the Sun Rune's power in Gordon Liddy? And in the end, I lost. But what about you, the victors in all this? Can you really say you're all that different from us? Can you swear to me you will pass the Sun Rune on to the next generation without getting lost in its power? I swear it. Hmm, idealistic youth. If you speak the truth... Back to the game then engine. Prove it to me! Yeah, we're gonna have to fight the fucking Sun Rune. Here we go. That's a fucking badass looking boss, though. And apparently you get ten characters. Like, if, you, if all six of these guys fall, the other four characters automatically join. I've also been told to not worry about the heat and light sprites to just attack this guy. Alright, well, you're using a flowing rune, so I'm not going to bother with attacking magic. Yeah, go for it. How are you doing on magic points? You're actually good, so... I think you should attack on this turn, though. Wait, how did he wind up in the back? Oh no. How did Kyle wind- well, I'm gonna use magic anyway, but how did Kyle wind up in the back? Oh, that's some bullshit. It changed my formation. Isabel's in the back, too! How did that happen? I don't know how that happened. The, the fucking game did that to me. Hopefully I can still do this. I have a save otherwise. Isabel really should be in the front. Kyle's using magic right now anyway, but still, what the fuck? Good. Isabel didn't even attack the right. Per oh, unless that was just a counter attack. That wasn't too bad. Oh. 
All right, Leon kind of took it there, though. All right. There we go. Good, 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 good. Bonk. Isabelle's just doing whatever the fuck she wants. I think she might have the Fury status. Six, six, six. Alright, Ass Goose is a little ragged here. But I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit and just have him attack. And she has. I don't know, I think she she's better with attacking. For now at least. Unless it's desperate. I mean you do have great blessing, I could do that. Thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you so much. How's it going? We're fighting the last boss here. Hey, for some reason, alerts don't make sounds for me anymore. It's like a thing that they just changed. So I didn't hear it. I have to look over, you know? Alright, not too bad. Oh my god, Isabelle. Oh, that's cool looking, though. Oh, that's nasty. Well, we'll definitely heal up next turn. Alright, we absolutely have to heal here. this. But I think I'm going to wait on that until Zarase's got her magic points back. Oh no! Okay, well she had a sacrificial Jesus, so... That came before the heal. Here comes the heal. I'm glad I gave that to her. Well, that guy's down. I wasn't trying to attack him, but alright. Oof. Well, she's down. Damn it. I don't think I can do much about that. <sighs> Too bad you can't... Can I? 
Will, will that work? Let me let me save it and see. Otherwise, we'll go back. Alright, I know those guys just get revived, and oh my god, why are you going first now? I'm probably dead. Let's see if this actually works. It does, wow, okay. Let me see if I could... No, you just attack, because she's so physical. I'm not going to panic, because I have extra characters in way. But now that I know I can revive characters with that... Oh, I somewhat regret making a save in the middle of the battle, overriding the one from before the battle. What are you going to do? No. You're using your turn to revive that guy. Okay. That actually kind of works. I only have one more opportunity to do this. Isabel's been good for that random damage, that's what I'm going for. Hold on. This is me. You gotta attack. Let's get your magic. Ugh! Not what I meant to do, but okay. Okay. Maybe I should have revoked Kyle, but I don't know. I guess it would be more bad if she actually attacked the actual boss and missed. This shit again, really? Alright. Let's actually try this. It is a very cool looking boss. I'm into it. It's just kinda kinda fucking me up a little. I don't know how much health it has or anything. Even the guy doesn't say that. I have no idea how far along I am or anything, you know? And in Suikoden 4, we thought the last boss was going into a second phase and it was over with. Plonk. Alright, that actually kind of worked out. Thank you, Isabel. You contributed something.
Jesus, man, really? Gotta go for the damage. Aurora Borealis. Hey, yeah, resist that. That's the problem. Shouldn't bother with that. Alright, not too terrible. Oof. So instead of just, like, getting lower stats if you were in the wrong position, you just randomly attack? It's kind of fucked up. Yeah, this wasn't really that great, so... Come on, Ascus has got to go before the boss here. There we go. Oh my god. Having them in the wrong position sucks, man. Oh no, this is so bad. Well, at least nobody died. There we go. Yeah, finally we're getting multiple hits. I wonder if I could... Oh, wow, that sucks. Not much I can do about that. I wonder if I could swap as a guy in. All right, that guy's down. And she'll waste a turn. Well, he'll waste a turn bringing it back. This is my last kindness reign. Wait, hold on. Well, yeah, did I got to do it? Oh no, you can only swap. Oh, that sucks. All right. Oh my god! Holy shit! I ain't even mad about it. I have no more, like, magic healing, so we just gotta go all out. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Oh, well, that was him bringing it back. I thought it was gonna be the big thing. Alright. Wait. I have this, too? Man, I didn't realize I had two of those kind of things. Shit. This is going to be doable, I think. I'm hoping I almost got this dude.
biblically accurate <laughs> Huh. Alright, well, now she's down. Okay. Oh, you gotta, you gotta attack. Nice. Is it over? I think Miyuki's just killed it. It's over, guys. We did it. Honk, honk, honk. He finally finished Suikoden in five. Let's watch this ending, bro. Did you get poisoned by Dolph? I'm sorry, Prince. I'll just need some rest. Prince, why are you looking at me like that? Don't you know? It's finally over. Let's go home. We should get the right ending, the best ending, because we have all 108 stars, and apparently choosing to abandon the, um, the castle, like I did, was the right choice as well. The princess. Everybody. Everybody. Dorf on Gaul. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch a bootleg comedy product. Is it Lekna? No, it's her. So is this at the end that Leon fucking dies? I'm hoping the end isn't just Leon fucking dies. If you're gonna kill off a character at the end, why don't we kill off that fucking that weird pel that weird pedo guy? Right? That should be who, should, who dies in the ending. Hopefully, I don't know. Apparently there are multiple endings, but I'm on track to have gotten the best one. Bring back that ugly cat from 4 just to kill him off? Oh my god. Which one? There were like several ugly cats. But I think you might mean Chipu. That's Leknot. Oh no, wait. That's his parents? Well, okay. So, is the prince dead? Because he's seeing dead people. And Sialids is there too, for some reason. She shouldn't be in the same afterlife. Yeah, so is the prince also dead? Because he... Oh, no, why is this shithead here? And this fucking guy. These are the villains, why... Alright, now you're just showing random characters that died. And a lot of them shouldn't be cheering me. A lot of them were against me. Like, I understand his parents and to a certain extent Sialids, but why would fucking Godwin and... <laughs> why would Godwin be there at all? And wh and definitely Jizzle? What? Most of these people are awful. No, oh, they're all going to come together to resurrect her. You know what I just realized? As much as I liked Suikoden 4 more than Suikoden 3, and more than this game, I don't remember the ending from it. <laughs> they had to show her, her, her cleavage. Well, I saw dead people. Some of them were shitters. There's Leknot!
Hey, Wayne. Bibs. Now make babies. It appears that the Senate has accepted its dissolution. Ha, <laughs> sucks to suck. Great news. Wait a minute. Does this mean that Limslia is Darth Sidious? You know what? I think it's because she's speaking from another plane. I always imagined Lechnatus sort of sounding like that, you know? This game doesn't have the greatest voice acting, obviously, but I I kind of always imagine her having that weird sort of voice, even back from the first game. Replacing the Senate, Senate with a parliament with representatives from each town. Hey, we discovered a, a, a democratic republic. with Still with a queen. We've become England. I know, right, Wayne? Sounds like hard work. And... Y you know what's fucked up, though? Is I have, let's see... I have eight Zeno games to get through, and they're, you know, they don't, they're not short. I bet those dwarves are gonna be stubborn. I don't care. They're Felanins, so they need to be a part of it. Absolutely. After lo what Lord Godwin tried to do, the dwarves and beavers will always have a voice. And we can't forget the princess's official coronation ceremony. Oh, so they're gonna have a real coronation, not that fake shit. That ghetto shit, that wish.com coronation she had earlier. I'm ready anytime. It doesn't have to be a big whoop, you know. No, no, that just won't do, little limb. Such things must be done properly, lest we be mocked by other nations. An official peace envoy will be arriving from Armas in the next few days. The Sun Palace must be spotless upon their arrival, and there's no time to waste, is there? You know what, though, Wayne? You know what's fucked up about, like, taking a year and a half to go through this series? Is, like, I still say, unequivocally, the best Suikoden game was the first one. Hmm. I can't decide which of them gets on my nerves more. Where is that brother of mine? Just when I really need him. Like, if I had to rank them from best to worst, it would be one, two, four, five, three. And I know that's a hot take, putting four in the middle like that, because a lot of people Are you hate sure it. About this? But I thought it was good. Well then, looks like I was actually able to keep my promise to Farad. You. George, <coughs> your eye. Ah uh, yes, my eye. <laughs> Turns out my eye was well, fine this whole time. I, was in I just thought the eye patch looked cool. Said. But I didn't lose my eyesight. I can see just fine. The eye patch was just to remind myself to never get overconfident. He thought it looked what? cool. Are you serious? Why didn't you ever tell us? It's because he didn't have an eye patch in the other games, and this is a prequel. Oh. Because <laughs> he was in oh, by the way, one, right? Yeah, he was in I've one. Decided to leave Felena. What? But why all of a sudden? No I mean, this one was. It's too long. It's, it's too long, right, Mogul? It was good. It had a slow start. And towards the end, it was starting to over wear out its welcome. But I still like it a lot more than Suikin in 3. Not as good as 4, and not nearly on the level of the first two games. Especially Suikin in 1, which I think was like a masterpiece. Uh, I'm going to help Lim rebuild. I see. I'm sure you two are going to do a great job. George... Take care, okay? Thanks. And someone tell him that his name is spelled wrong. George. 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 All is as it should be. Yes. I'm sure nothing like that will ever happen again. Yeah. Well, Indeed. Except for Suikoden in 1, 2, and 3, which <laughs> are after this. 
I thought it would have been interesting to learn more about her, about Zarase. She just kind of came into the story, told people what to do, was a badass in battle, and then there she and just vanished. The policies of the new parliament are I guess we'll find out when they go through like all 108 stars of destiny. Thank but... You. but there's one more thing. Yes? Among our people, there's an ever-increasing hope that you'll get married soon. Oh, leave her alone, she's ten! So beloved. You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Mia Keys is <laughs> definitely enjoying it. <sighs> I've decided no more sacred games. I'll choose my own husband. Your Majesty? Anyway, there is no Smart. for that. We already have and a she's ten. of the Queen's Knights. Her Am brother? Right? Yeah. Making her brother the commander makes more sense than her husband. How come I didn't get to wear that dope costume earlier? And he's with Leon, which I, expe I expected. I know a lot of the characters shipped him with Lucerina, but let's be real, he's gonna be with Lu he's gonna be with Leon. Oh, previously on Suikoden. Stands tall as a guardian of Felena and of its queen, legends of his courage and strength and I'm not gonna be able to read all this. Lucretia disappears. Well, it does give you time. Rahad retires. Okay. Zarase vanishes. Alright, Craig resigns. Galleon retires. Okay. Let's see. Boz focuses on improving the navy. Nakula, I forgot he existed. He leaves. Leon is the youngest ever Queen's Knight and devotes herself to the protection of the Queen and her brother. Taljil is the chairperson in Parliament. Aresh leaves unnoticed. Let's see, what does Din do? Din marries Celicia. Okay. Kyle lives a life of peace and quiet abroad. The guy goes into the wild. Isada returns to just being an elf. Hazwar announces a surprise wedding. Belku. Oh, he turns the, the the arena into a training school, and Norma returns home to Zalant. Okay. At least they give you enough time to read it. Some of the other games, it went by really fast. <coughs> Axe is a dragon. Kathari was thought to have returned home. George returns to the northern continent and stars in Suikoden 1. Ernst is a cat. Killy, let's see, hunts for treasures. Shula helps forge a pact of friendship with Felena. We kind of figured that. Killy went on to be the Red Mage in Final Fantasy 1. Right. Shun travels around, reuniting with his fellow guardian, uh, gladiators, rather. Bernadette goes home. <laughs> Volga takes a friggin' desk job as the mayor of Lelkar. Good for him. She was cute. I just wish she was in a better game, right? All right, Lance is an animal who cares. Wazzle, Weasel Wazzle, okay. He represents Lelkar in the parliament. Flail is a dragon thing. Lays an egg. Orok rebuilds Lelkar. Yoram tends to the horse, dragon horse guys. Nick gives Rug and Lance a run for their money. Okay. Wazzle finally gets that beer hat. Uh-oh, what? Wilhelm finds work wherever he goes. Never quite finds enough girls. Mueller keeps Wilhelm working part time by prodding him full time. Tomo went on to star in Brave Fencer Musashi. And he becomes a Queen's Knight, I guess. He flammed his penis in the car door. Sius, uh... Okay, he becomes a military police chief. 
Raven stops being a thief. Shinro builds a trade route to Armus. Okay. Well, we know what happens to Jean. Uh, Nord rebuilds Lord Lake. Isabel, where does she go? She she goes to Armus to fight against corruption and injustice. Okay, that makes sense. Theus remains by Isabel's side until the end of his days. No surprise there. Rahal and Rug. They let women into the uh, cal dragon cavalry. That's cool. Gunde is the dwarves delegate to new parliament. Bastin just goes back to his job. Lorelai helps herself to science research materials. Yep. Oh, she goes to she goes to to sweep it in one, right? Gosh gets a better hat. Nah, his youthful spark inspires everyone. Uh, this guy, yeah, I mean, he passes away soon after the war ends. He was old. Maroon and his siblings take the elder's place. Richard goes to fight with Mueller. Waybon passes his job over to Gunde and then just works on the railroad. Lucerina. Donates the Barrow's estate to the restoration effort. Nice. And Rania... has multiple apprentices and... doesn't enjoy having any of them, apparently. Oh god, that scene with him, when Roy was dressed up as the prince. Mosin becomes a wholesaler. Silva's the official doctor of the Sun Palace. Maraud uses Nethergate's drugs to create new medicine. Interesting. Okay, his creepy bastard. Oh my god, he goes to the Island Nations looking for a wife? Jesus. Hazuki becomes a sword trainer. Maroon is a wanderer. Until Mo Maroon drags him back home. Repeat ad nauseum. It literally says that. Levi goes off with Ernst. Shiguri and Shigiri stick together, doing their former Nethergate stuff, I guess. Oh, Shigiri's smile starts to slip? That's good. Marina might take over the inn. Babbage is Dr. Wily. Halith is... goes to collect his pets. The Prince won. Pay up. Yeah, that sounds like him, all right. Let's see, Nifsara is Shula's bodyguard. Yar goes back to the islands. Nellis disappears. Scald chasing her. Maroon becomes the Beaver Lodge's delegate. Alhazred, let's see. <laughs> yeah, he's just out there doing his usual fuck shit. Bergen loses interest in magic. That sounds about right, because Alhazred's a dick. He becomes a Waybon's apprentice. Mia Keys. Her and this her and the Queen are his closest sisters. Charmista. And who cares? Zunda. Men are only dependable when they feel like it becomes the dwarves' leader. <laughs> Scaring men everywhere. <laughs> Let's see. Sorensen makes a chilling, lonely trek up Ashtwal Mountains to examine the runes. Cornelio wants to recruit 50 members of his stupid elf symphony. Vicky sneezes and vanishes, because she's got to be in all the other games, right? Spike looks for Killy. Josephine is dragged back home and then goes north. Lou assists Babbage, that makes sense. With a few glaring... She does a bang-up job with a few glaring exceptions. That sounds like her. Let's see, Maroon becomes the uh, Elder. We knew that. Taylor ends up exposing massive corruption among the hardline chieftains. And Deboro travels to Nigeria to settle things once and for all. Lelay vanishes with Lucretia, no shock there. Gino's a turtle. Maroon is the one dragging Maroon back every time he runs away. And she learns to enjoy it. Let's see, Dongo... Well, he keeps getting abused. 
Fuyo sticks with the detective agency. <laughs> Log is sticking with his wife because his daughter just doesn't like him. I put the controller down, I think. Let's see, Loon joins the cavalry. First female rider. Shunmin marries Hayo, I guess. Retso meets Jinkai, okay. Egbert's a weirdo. Chuck still is doing the same thing he's always done, and Byakuren is a snake. Sitting at the bottom of the lake, watching Honk Break Hotel. Kazara becomes Raft Fleet's leader, that makes sense. Yukia wrecks havoc at martial arts events only to save cash for an international eating spree. Linfa masters the twin arts of enormous debt and quick getaway, and she studies how not to cheat. Let's see, Phelan fathers a sister to the northern continent. Phelan goes there to search for Roy. Subala becomes a fisherwoman in search of the big one. Disappears at sea. But everyone figures she's safe. Erdis still kind of a bitch. Let's see. Maroon runs an inn. Chisato does the puppet show, entertaining children everywhere. Let's see. Takamu maps the underground water vein. Oh, Roy becomes an actor. <laughs> that makes sense. Syro retires again, this time for real, in Raft Fleet, and just gets drunk every day, it seems. How many are left? Damn. Oh, I've had been it. That was 108. East. <laughs> it looked like an East thing. That's the credits. Maroon with her snorkel and Syro is the drunk fighter in SNK game. Yo, Syro totally reminds me of those like old drunken guys that are always in like Fatal Fury and King of Fighters and shit like that, right? Or, or Sam Show or Last Blade or whatever. Oh, there, oh look, there's Asku's flying through the air in this Rob Layfield pose. Oh my god, they're all in Rob Layfield poses. Caffeine, nicotine, yep. That was Sam Show, right? What the fuck is this shit? We're done with Suikin! Mm -mm. Unfortunately, that means I gotta play Xenogears, but we'll get through it. I'll use a walkthrough or something, I don't know. I played it once before, but I didn't beat it because I got to a certain point that I just decided I had enough. Which was about, I'd say, halfway through the second disc. The second disc was bullshit. The game actually starts off kind of decent, right? Like, it, it's it's pretty good at first. It just wears out its welcome real fast, and then you play the second disc and it becomes a fucking visual novel, basically. What is this? They're just, like, floating the characters by with this, like, Photoshop background thing? Oh, okay, R Ross. So we got Xenogears... Xenosaga, Xenosaga 2. Supposedly that one's not great, but we'll say Xenosaga 3. We got Xenoblade, Xenoblade X, Xenoblade 2, and Xenoblade 3. That Switch emulator is really going to get its work out. I've heard all of those games run really well. I played like a little bit of Xenoblade 1 Definitive, you know? Um, and it ran well, but people are saying like 2 and 3 also run. People were saying that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 runs better than Pokemon Scarlet Violet. Which is funny because it's like so much more graphically intensive a game. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy I played through the Suikoden games. I kind of am glad that like they're remastering 1 and 2 because those are the ones that were really, really good, especially the first game. I'm hoping that the remaster of 2 includes cleaning up the translation. Because that was my main sticking point with 2 was that towards the end, the translation just fucking fell apart. And since it's 10 and we're still going through these credits, I don't think we're going to do anything else. We'll just end, you know?
I didn't recruit all the elves, but it doesn't matter because they're not stars of destiny and I don't really care. I just don't understand why the graphics were so disappointing in this game after Suikoden 4 looked so good. Like, if you looked at the two games side by side, you would definitely think that this game came out earlier. There was some cool artistry to it, but it's very low poly, you know. I don't know. I'm gonna check out what you sent me so I could uh, bookmark it. So this is your recommended. You, you think this is a really good guide? Oh, you, you you it's a file. Okay, well that that's all right. Cool, that works for me. So you're sending a link. Okay, cool. I downloaded it. Hey, there's Bilbo. Jesus, Wayne, I just saw that meme you posted. Dude, the first time that Taljil spoke... Not Taljil, Toma. Uh, and I heard that voice, and it was like... It was Musashi from Brave Friends to Musashi. I was like, holy shit. It's the same woman that voiced both characters. And apparently she's done a lot of video games. And we've heard her voice many times. But she used, she basically reused the Musashi voice for this. And I'm like, that's, that's, that's Musashi. Wait. going. So weird. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my god, there's more credits. Les Claypool the third. The like the drummer from but the, the the bassist from Primus. Is is it the same guy? I look this guy up. Apparently not. Now, Les Claypool III is somebody apparently who's known for video game and anime soundtracks. That's wild. Oh, 
Hudson the Bee. Wait, what did Hudson Soft have to do with this game? I know that they, like, got bought by Konami, but that wasn't a thing yet. Did... Did they develop this? Oh, let me look at this. Oh, wow, they co-developed it with, with Konami. I didn't know that. This whole time, I didn't know that. Because I think all four previous games were done just by Konami. That's crazy. Hey, Juan. Yep, GG's. Okay, guys. Well, um, we're going to call it a day here, I guess. That was uh, it was a certainly a thing. We finally finished it. And I'm going to go ahead and go over the schedule with you guys. And then we're going to go ahead and do a raid. So please don't go anywhere just yet. Please stick around for the raid. Uh, and then we'll see. All right. So tomorrow night, I will be playing East 8 Lacrimosa of Donna for uh for steam monday afternoon we have night warriors dark stalkers revenge for saturn tuesday night we have rogue legacy 2 hopefully we'll be beating this as well i've been grinding the rogue legacy 2 for steam uh wednesday afternoon more of the hobbit for gamecube Thursday night, more of, uh, come on now, Bahumet Lagoon for the Super Famicom. Friday afternoon, more of the Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind for Steam. And then Saturday night, a week from today, not so weak in 5. I don't have a scene set up, but it's going to be Xenogears. Not my favorite game, but we're going to play, th we're going to play Xenogears. And that's on PlayStation. So uh, let's head over here, and I'll see who we have online that we could raid. Let's see who's on. There's a lot of people on right now. Um, you know who's on that we haven't read in a really long time and is playing East 8 is Fox Tencent. Let's head over there. Haven't read him in a while. He's like never on when I'm ending, so it's, you know, or sometimes he is, but there's somebody else that I really want to do that. I'm waiting for the ad to finish to make sure that he's not like about to end. Although he's only been live for an hour, so probably we're good. I'm just also curious as to what part of the game he's he's, he's in, you know? So I don't catch like too many spoilers if he's towards the end of the game, you know what I'm saying? Oh, actually, he's slightly behind where I am. Yeah, let's raid him. Let's do this. He's slightly, he's like slightly behind where I am. Give you guys a raid call. All right, guys, there's your raid call. Copy that, paste it as we head into Fox's stream. He is playing E8 Lacrimosa of Donna. Uh, like I said, he's just slightly behind where I, where I am in the game, so it's pretty familiar territory. I'll see you guys over there. I'll see you guys on Discord. I'll see you guys tomorrow for, for, for E8. Go figure. And just run in general. Here we go.